everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel. This is the second in our Winter Village series. Last week we talked about how our Winter Village had evolved over the last few years. And this week we're revealing the setup we've got up in the Lego Room. There's a sneak peek of it behind me, but first I'll show you us laying it all out. Um, and then we'll do a, a bit of a closer look at where we've put everything. So I'll see you in a second. start off here at the Winter Village station because that makes sense that's where you'd arrive at the Winter Village. Ian and I are um, in discussions still on whether this is just um, one of those sort of Christmas train rides that you go on or whether this is a full-scale train that you would arrive into the village by. I think it's the latter but you never know we could always make it work both ways. So you've got the train there as well our door to the Lego room is over that way. So as you come in, this is kind of the view that you'd, you'd have of the, the city. Um, we tried to make it look good from both um, real person's point of view, so us looking at it, um, and the minifigures. So if you haven't been following along on Ian's blog uh, this week, he's going to reveal that the view from a minifigure's point of view so that will be worth checking out so you've got your winter village here um, right next to it the elf clubhouse behind the train over to the left we've got the fire station complete with um, the tree that they're just finishing off in the back there we've got the toy shop and the bakery in the very far corner. The main um, Christmas tree for the whole scene in the middle there with the cottage on in the rear. Behind the, the station we've got Santa's workshop and there is elves are getting everything ready for Christmas. We've got the small gingerbread house down here and then the the large gingerbread house sort of behind it and then the winter village market along the side here with all the various stalls and a bit more of the train as well so it's pretty busy it's a bit different from how we originally laid it out we had a slightly more rectangular train track originally um, but it just didn't give us enough room on the the inside for this scene and now we've got a little bit more space sort of on the outside to have a little sort of tree cellar and um, this sort of sleigh ride scene as well as a couple of benches as well so it's pretty full it looks quite nice um, the plan long term is to add a second tier up here so that we've got two levels um, a bit more interest as well so that it's not all flat I think we've talked about having skiers coming down the mountain as well the skiers at the moment are all um, in procession there near those carol singers but eventually we'd like them to have a mountain to come down so I'm liking it um, I think it, it's it won't be long before we have to get it set up downstairs but I am definitely enjoying working next to this because this is this is pretty much where I sit when I'm creating my videos. So this is all I can see at the moment is Christmas, which it's November, so it's a little bit early, but it's still nice. I think it's all turned out pretty well because you've got the the fronts on view from here of most of the buildings. Um, but also the minifigures will have a decent view from 
from that main um, Christmas tree point where I think we set up the camera. Um, so it's definitely worth going and looking at that that minifigures view. So next week we're going to be going into to both the gingerbread house and the winter fire station in more detail um, because those are the two sets that you can still buy now so I wanted to get those reviewed while they're still available um, just in case you're thinking of starting off your own winter village it's always better to start with the ones that you can get from Lego instead of paying a fortune on the the second hand market so I'll go through those two first and tell you all the little details that you need um, to see to convince you to buy them because they are they are nice sets and it, having this all set out definitely makes it nice and Christmassy I mean even more so when it's downstairs so I definitely recommend starting a winter village I love ours um, and I'm very excited to get it downstairs um, on show although I'm a little bit concerned with the number of hands that will be moving little Lego pieces around this year because um, Hayley, our youngest, is a lot more cheeky these days and I think it's going to get a bit destroyed, but that's kind of half the fun, I think. So tune in next week for the video of those two um, and let me know in the comments below if you've got any suggestions on how we could change our layout when we move it downstairs, what, what you think works together, what maybe doesn't. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss an update. See you later.